We're at the Autonomous Car Conference in Detroit, and Joel Hoffman is with a company called Renaissance Electronics. And first of all, I've never heard of the company, so you got to fill me in of what that's all about. You know, that's pretty scary, John, because Renaissance has a 30% market share of all the automotive electronics in the world. Wow. That means that your car, no doubt, has a third of its electronics coming from a Renesis. So you're making chips? We're making chips. We're a silicon manufacturer based in Japan. And uh, as you hear these hacking stories and everything, it's really concerning to us because we probably have a lot of the silicon interest in those vehicles. So I'm here to talk about the security here at the autonomous cars because you can't have an autonomous car if it's not secure. Yeah, but anything can be hacked, right? I mean, the Pentagon's been hacked, President Obama's personal email has been hacked. How do you prevent people from getting into cars? You know, you can't lock people out indefinitely. They'll always find a way, and you're right. Every lock can be picked, and some can be picked more easily than others. Uh, the thing is that you've got to have a method to constantly keep up. And this is what the computer industry learned a long time ago. You have to constantly get new software for your phone, for your tablet, for your computer, because that flow of information is always going to change. So i got to believe you're also talking about over-the-air updates. Well, over-the-air updates are going to become like bread and butter. It's going to have to happen. It's a difficult thing for the industry to adapt to right now, but I believe that everything that we're doing with security is going to require it. But when you get over the air updates, you also get open access to the car. So it's kind of a two edged sword. Great point, great point. So at Renaissance, do you think it's going to be a software solution to hacking, a hardware solution, or what? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that question. We think it's going to be everything. The hardware is certainly going to have a big role. But the real challenge is in the software. There's already a massive amount of software in the car. I don't have the numbers on my head, but basically the amount of software in a car exceeds the amount of software in a jet airplane, or in a, a jet fighter. Jet fighter. Yeah. And that is a problem. Not only because that all that software has potential bugs in it, but because it's work to make it. So the, the other topic or the other element of my conversation today is about the Geneva Alliance. And what's that? The Geneva Alliance was formed about six years ago, and it's a nonprofit consortium between auto companies, tier one suppliers, and software manufacturers. And the initial thrust was to get open source software into the car. Now open source, source software is most famous for the Linux operating system. So that was our first task, to get Linux into cars. And you have a dozen cars on the road now, manufacturers that have Linux software in their cars. And some people think that's less secure. But the reality is that when you collaborate on the development of software, you move faster, and you, you break the bugs quicker. So it's been proven in other industries, auto industry is catching on, and the Geneva Alliance has a lot to do with promoting. Very interesting. I wasn't aware that Linux is coming into the operating systems of automobiles. And, and when did that start? It started in 2000. I, was, I was used to work for Intel Corporation. Intel really pushed the envelope along with BMW as one of the leading OEMs at the time. And we started the project in the 2004, 2005 range. And by 2008, 2009, we determined that you couldn't do anything with just two manufacturers. It's kind of how the supply chain works today in automotive. It's always a closed door relationship. We had to open that up. We had to make it available so that all the car makers could come together and sit to the same table and solve problems. And we're not talking about business problems, we're talking about deep technology issues. So they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna have an impact on it and security is one of the new topic areas for Geneva to really key in on. Very interesting, so the major automakers are now using this Linux system? A number of them are. There's no exclusivity in this industry, but there are a number of big ones out there. As I mentioned, BMW is very committed to it. Jaguar Land Rover's made some serious investments in the industry. In fact, some of those companies aren't just adopting the Linux, but they're contributing back because for every line of code that they put into the pot, they get 20 lines of code back. Wow. So it's a very valuable proposition wow. if they understand it. Are any of the domestics working on right this Right now, too? the domestics in the U.S. have played some role in it, but they're not really, as my understanding, they're not really going fast. What about the Japanese? Japanese are very interested in it. Koreans, too? Uh, Koreans, for sure. And Europeans. You and mentioned Europeans, a couple of them there, Europeans, too. Europeans. I'd say it's, it's having Europe, and you know how most and how you know, autos are, they kind of all started in Europe and they kind of moved over to the U.S. I think that's the same pattern's happening. It just takes time. Why are the Americans lagging in this when others are racing ahead? No idea. You'd have to ask them. <laughs> okay. Joel, thanks so much hey, for the update. Hey, good to talk really to you. Really appreciate nice to your you. insight. Talk to you again. Good deal. Keep watching for the Autonomous Car Conference in Detroit. We've got more coming.
Deloitte's automotive group is at the forefront, driving transformation and tackling complex challenges. Whether you are interested in globalizing operations, optimizing supply chains, mitigating enterprise risk, or driving innovation, Deloitte can help develop solutions that create long-lasting value. To learn more about Deloitte's automotive group, visit us online at deloitte.com backslash US backslash automotive.